So I don't invent surgeries in the operating room, but I often have to come up with tailored surgical procedure for a specific patient with a specific problem. The way it works sort of is I'll see a patient and I'll figure out kind of what the problem is, which nerves are involved. And then sometimes, depending on what level, what area those nerves have been injured at, I'll have to think about how do I, how am I going to treat this particular patient? I may spend a lot of time looking at anatomy books, thinking about approaches, um, thinking about exactly how do I want to do this operation, where do I need to place the incision so that I can get to all the nerves I need to get to without causing a huge disfiguring you know, incision, that kind of thing, or risking injuring other nerves. One thing that you are sort of forced to think about as a peripheral nerve surgeon is every time you cut into somebody, what nerves could you potentially injure while going for the nerve that is the problem? Usually most of the macro planning or innovation for a new surgical type of approach is done before the operating room. But then sometimes when you're in the operating room, you're presented with anatomic variations or things that require you to adjust on the fly and do things like that. So those type of more minor adjustments are fairly common in the operating room based on the anatomy that you're presented with or based on the fact that you're going for a nerve and all of a sudden that nerve's not there. And that can happen sometimes. So then you have to Think about where else do you need to go, where else do you need to look for some kind of variation on that anatomy. For example, the operation that I do for piriformis syndrome is an operation that I developed. There was no operation prior to that to remove the piriformis muscle. I've developed the operation to address superior clunial nerve pathology, developed an operation for middle clunial nerve pathology. I've developed my own approach to posterior femoral cutaneous nerve problems for pudental nerve problems, and and taken other operations and, and sort of modified them just in the way that I think is better. So there's been a lot of that throughout my career.